Hey guys, it's Jen and I'm back with another collection disconnection uh, video for you. This is a series where I show you how to use one collection. In this case, it's the Paige Evans and Pink Paisley Fancy Free Collection and use it in a bunch of different ways. So I'm starting with this photo of my daughter. She is sleeping and I want to talk about how I still love watching her sleep and dream and things like that. And I'm using this cut file, which is new in my shop. It has just a bunch, it's called Falling Hearts. It has a bunch of hearts and it's more concentrated at the top and then it kind of fades out at, as you get to the bottom. There you can see it a little bit better. And I'm using that. And then I'm also using a variety of products. So let me just show you what I'm gonna use, be using and why. So I'm gonna use this word dream for my title probably. And I just like, uh, she's sleeping and the word dream really works here. So I'm going to use that and then I've pulled so I plan to back each one of these little hearts with some papers from the 6x6 paper pad. I have lots of little leftover bits from other projects that I've created in this series which you should definitely check out but I figure I can use these scraps up first before I cut into anything in in here and I'm just going to do a variety of colors but concentrate mostly on the blues so that it feels like kind of like she's floating on a cloud or something like that um, and then I've just pulled a variety of different things from the embellishments and uh, this this is from the layered stickers I might use that these are from the die cut package and then this is from the tags package and I think I'm going to use that for my journaling and there are a couple of things that say dream in here like this little piece says dream play love and then there's another piece that says dream in here and she just happens to be wearing a shirt that is pretty much this color this kind of greeny color so you can see that there so that's really the only color in the photograph which makes this a really fun one to even though this is a color photo I can use pretty much any colors that I want uh, I'm also going to incorporate I'm going to try to incorporate some things from the chipboard set as well there's this one that says what a cutie here and then there's lots of little florals and different pieces that I think could probably work well so we'll see what I can incorporate from there so that is my plan. I'm going to put you on fast forward and I'm going to start backing all of these little hearts so we can get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm just going to take these little scraps that I have and start placing them behind my little hearts. And I know that I said before that I was going to try to focus on the blues uh, to make it give it kind of a sky feeling, but I totally don't end up doing that. <laughs> there is maybe a little bit more blue in the end than any other color, but it is just colorful and it looks really pretty, I think. So I want some of these to be popped up on foam square or on some of them, the hearts to be popped up and some of them not to be. And so I'm just using a little bit of foam. I have some fun foam, which is inexpensive foam adhesive that you can get at your craft, local craft store or I got mine at Walmart. And so I'm just going to pop some of those hearts up. So what I found is that even when you're doing small little scraps like this you can just glue some scraps flat down and then put the foam behind where other scraps will go. I started out using the green fun foam but you can kind of see it from the shadow and so I want I switched to a white piece so that's what you see me using now and I'm just kind of placing skinny little strips around the heart and it's important I I realized this a little bit of the way through that you want to make sure that you get the other hearts around the one that's going to be popped up. Uh, the flat pieces glued down first so that uh, the foam adhesive doesn't get in the way of putting down the other pieces of paper. So I skipped forward a little bit and I'm using, I'm, I used up the scraps that I already had and now I'm cutting some more six by six papers and I found the six by six paper pad uh, the two pieces that I cut were that Brit Bass gorgeous, colorful, watercolory paper, and that might be my favorite one that goes in any of these hearts. It's so pretty. And then the other one I chose was the one that has all of the squares of different colors, and those squares are the perfect size for these hearts. I also pulled out the one that has the little circles with the words on them. Now, I already have some circles punched with those words on them, but the circle punch that I used was one inch and it was just slightly too small. You could just see a little bit, like it was just the teeniest bit too small to fit behind the heart. So I just cut out some more of them and 
I, I end up using three. So I put one at the top right, one kind of on the left side, and then one a little bit towards the middle of those hearts with the words on them. And I like the way that that adds just a little something extra. So this process is what actually took the longest about the whole layout, but I just put on some YouTube videos that I, I needed to catch up on on my laptop. Oh, sorry, you can see my laptop sitting there, <laughs> but I'm watching uh, YouTube videos while I put this together. And here you can see it completely finished. I slowed the video down so you could really get a look at how they look. I love the way the shadows look with the ones that I put foam behind. I think it looks really cool. So there are four in the center that I did not put anything behind. And that's because my photo is going to cover it up. And just look how precious does my daughter's face look on this. I think I could just put the photo and be done. And it looks so pretty just the way it is. But I wanted it to feel very soft and so I put some, I matted my photo on some vellum. I'm just using my ruler to tear the vellum so it has kind of a soft edge to it. And I'm gonna use a couple of layers of just regular vellum and then I have one piece that's an old Studio Calico vellum that has a star map on it and I thought that was perfect for this. It's very, very subtle and you really barely notice it but it's one of those little details that I just love adding on my layouts. Um, and speaking of details, Arit Landgraf and I have a new class called Make an Impact, and we're talking all about little ways that you can add a, a pop and an impact to your layouts, and one of the lessons is all about adding details. And so if you're interested in that, check it out. It's available for $30 uh, for until Tuesday, July 1st, and then the price will go up, or is it July 2nd? It's available uh, for the discounted rate until Tuesday, so... Check that out if you're interested. You can find it at classes.craftygenscow.com. So I'm just laying those vellum pieces down with a little bit of double-sided sticky tape, and then I'm going to glue the whole thing to the background. I'm not putting another piece of paper behind this. I don't feel like I need it, and so I'm not going to. I thought about tucking in that tag but it just didn't work. The love this is what I do end up putting my journaling on and I will keep it to the left of the photo. I thought about using that acetate piece, but I wanted to keep everything really soft and the acetate piece has a deeper coloring to it. So I decide against it. So the word dream is gonna live right there on my photo and I'm going to put some words above the word dream and I'm gonna use some Ellie's, Ellie's Studio letter stickers. I thought about the teal, but I end up going with the white. And I'm going to do, I love to watch her dream. And originally I thought I was going to do, um, I, I can't remember. I want to watch her dream. Yeah, that's what I originally was going to go with. But I decided to change it to love. And in my journaling, I'm going to talk about uh, still loving to watch her sleep as she's little like this, but also I love watching her um, dream about what she wants to be when she grows up and that kind of thing. So uh, I thought the title was very fitting. Now the white is going to be very subtle, which is what I wanted. So it's a very subtle addition. I liked the white on white. I wanted to keep this layout fairly airy and ethereal. And so that's why I decided to go with the white on white. It's definitely visible, but it's it doesn't take your eye away. So the title could just be Dream, and that would be enough. Um, but then when you look a little closer, you get that those other words. So I like the way that ends up looking. So I'm just going to get those stuck down, and I'm nestling the W from the word uh, watch next to the A sender of the word D. And I always do that. If you watch my videos, you probably know that about me. And then I'm just going to center the words I love to above that. And it kind of follows the line of the pillow beneath her head. So I like that. So now I'm going to work on just, I want to put a couple of different things on here, but not too much. That word dream that's the same color as her shirt didn't end up working on this layout. Um, I did layer a, just one of the transparent pieces underneath the word love this. It's a tag. I mean, you're not going to be able to tell that it's a tag, but I I do use that and I like the way it kind of points to the word stream. I tried really hard to make that layered sticker work and it, it the colors worked, I just couldn't find a good spot for it. I do tuck that little silver edged tag up above the journaling spot and there is a little silver heart next to 
the title. So there are three little shots of silver. I wanted to add a few more glitter stickers just so that they, the dream wasn't, I wanted it to stand out, but I wanted something to go with it. So there are three little hearts next to the title now, the silver one and then two of the teal ones. And I just stapled that silver one on. So my three shots of silver come with that little heart, the tag up there that I'm trying to put on the top right now. And then there's silver, those little arrows at the bottom on the clear piece are silver foiled. So there will be three little spots like that. I'm just gluing down those two pieces there. I'm gonna have to add some more adhesive underneath that transparent acetate piece. And then um, I did add a little bit of crochet thread to the top of the tag. And I'm gonna bring back that layered sticker to see if it works, but it just doesn't, so. I'm just using my regular Muji pen to write my journaling on this tag. And these are slick tags, so if you have a slick writer, that works great. You need to be really careful to not smudge it if you're using a regular pen, but it will work, it, you just need to let it dry. I actually do smudge my journaling, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So I'll read you my journaling, it says, even though she is 10 years old, I still love watching my baby sleep. Even more, I love watching her dream. Right now, she's dreaming of being a painter like Bob Ross. Love that. I hope to keep watching as she fulfills her dreams. So just a little sentimental note there. And I wanted to see if I could add something, a little something more. I thought about adding that cloud because that, that seemed to go with the word dream, but it just didn't work. Um, that button's not going to work either. So I remembered I wanted to incorporate some chipboard pieces. And so I found these little floral pieces on the chipboard sheet and I really like what they add here. There are two that are a little bit more pastel and then one that had that bright pink in it. So I decided to go with the more pastel color because these are softer colors that uh, I ended up using. And so what I'm gonna do is just cut that one piece in half and tuck Part of it underneath the journaling spot and part of it underneath the right hand side of the photo. So I, I do like the way that ends up looking. And I accidentally peeled off the backing that had the sticker on it so I used my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to glue that down. And that's a great way to use up an embellishment if you need two spots for it but you only have one sticker, just cut it in half. And that's pretty much going to complete this. I am going to add some silver, um, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. It's actually, the color's called Tin Can. It's super old. There are other, like Heidi Swap has a silver spray mist as well. Um, but I got a ton of these older Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists at Tuesday morning for just like $2. And so it was a really good deal. I stamped the date up in the top and then I sprinkled my mist next to the date, to the left of the photo and to the right of the photo. And that's going to finish it off. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this process and that you will give something like this a try. Uh, as I mentioned before, that is a cut file you can get in my shop at craftygenscow.com. Just click on shop and uh, I will also have links to the products that I used as well as these still photos over on my blog. So be sure to head over to Crafty Gen Scout to check that out if you're interested. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.